Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com and we're continuing our getting started guide with the PDQ products. We're on step 14 and we're gonna start diving into what makes PDQ inventory so freaking great. And the first one of those we're gonna cover with that is dynamic collections. So we've covered a little bit like the collection library, which is dynamic, but we're building the uh, results for you. You can't really uh, control that. But if you wanna build your own collections that have the same dynamic availability where it updates your, based on your computer scans, uh, this is what we're gonna kind of dive into on this one. So I did copy from our collection library, Chrome Enterprise, just so we can kind of see everything that's in there. Once you copied it down, you can then make changes, but just kind of show you how we've done this one. We've got our filters where any application name and version, and between those two filters, that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with that one, but we're just gonna do like a, a quick and dirty one. We'll, we'll build a new one. We can just kind of see the value of it from there. So we're just gonna come in here with a new dynamic collection. Then we're gonna look for Notepad++. Uh, I assume that we already have a collection for this one, but I know the software is installed out there in our lab environment. And so I'm gonna use it as the example because because uh, I'm running things. I'm on the video, you're not. Just sit back and learn. So we're gonna go application name contains, and we're just gonna do Notepad++. Press OK, you can see it has 22 machines listed. So every single one of these machines, if we open up, we'll say Michael here, you come down here and see that Notepad++ is in fact installed on that uh, on that device. So that's just a quick one, it's like, does it have Notepad++, but there's other things like, do you wanna make sure it's the latest version, or do you wanna make sure it's the right architecture, 64 versus 32? And to do that, you can open back, back up, you can add just another uh, filter in there. We're gonna go application, and instead of name, this is where you can do install date, or we're talking about version. This is where if you want to know what the latest version is. I'll be honest, I don't know what the latest version is. So we're just going to do, I don't know, greater than or see version higher than one. I'm pretty confident that's going to not change anything. And nothing changed because the version is higher than one. If we open this up to say, look at the actual version 11.2.5. So or I'm sorry, 8.4.5, that's VMware tools is 11.2. You can kind of see where you have a lot of variation, you can make a lot of control. So if you have the latest version in there, then whenever an, uh, the software updates, the collection is gonna contain all of the ones that have the latest one, or if it needs an update, you can have it say not, uh, lower than, and you can see all versions or all computers out there that have the wrong version of Notepad, and you know that those ones need an update. And that's pretty much everything to it. I kind of, uh, it's a very quick, dive into the filters, but these are very powerful. You can do multiple different uh, subsets of like any or all with different uh, collections. You can get really specific. You can do some fantastic things with this, but it's one where showing that kind of requires a specific example we're looking for in our environment, but we uh, encourage you to dive in and, and mess with that. You can find out, you can track just about anything you want and keep your, uh, keep your system up to date. For PQ.com, I'm Jordan.